Tears of the Kingdom is almost here. Nintendo had a demonstration video for Tears of the Kingdom gameplay today. I'm going to be talking about the four abilities that Link has in Tears of the Kingdom. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first ability is called Recall. When a rock from the sky falls to the ground, you are able to use this ability on that rock to elevate yourself to the sky. You're basically going back in time but only a few seconds before that rock fell to the ground. So this is one way we know of getting to the sky from the ground in Tears of the Kingdom. And we know there's a few mobility features with this that may take place for the underground and the sky above. So this is one of Link's abilities. It is called Recall. Now on to the next ability. The next ability comes in very handy and is technically a way of crafting new weapons. People complain that Breath of the Wild had their ability and that your weapons would break too fast. In Tears of the Kingdom, this isn't a problem anymore because say you have a stick and then there's a rock next to some plain area and your stick is about to break. The new ability that Link has is called Fuse, which fuses the two together to not only increase the damage, but also the durability. As demonstrated in the video, Link is killing a construct with his new weapon that he created using the fuse ability. So this can come in very handy if your weapon is about to break and you need to fuse your weapon with a certain material that will increase its durability and its damage so that it doesn't break as fast and you could deal more damage to the enemy. This ability has so much to it, I don't think there's an end to what it can do. Imagine how much you could fuse together to make crazy weapons that are crazy strong. We know nothing of the Master Sword right now, but this ability changes everything in Tears of the Kingdom. It will change a lot from Breath of the Wild because in Breath of the Wild, you would just have one weapon, it break, and that's it. But in this game, you can fuse weapons together. Imagine what you can fuse. Uh, in another part of the video, they're fusing a long branch with a rake and the range on it is crazy. You could hit the enemy without even getting touched once. That's how good this ability is going to be in Tears of the Kingdom. Imagine everything you can make with this ability. This is definitely one of the better abilities we've seen from today's gameplay because it changes the whole world of Legend of Zelda and Tears of the Kingdom. To add on, in the gameplay, demonstrated by Eiji Onuma, we did see that the arrows also have fuse ability. As we've seen in the previous trailer for Tears of the Kingdom in the latest direct in February, we saw that there was a homing arrow. In this gameplay demonstration, Eiji Onuma shows us that we can fuse a lot to an arrow. He fuses a Korok leaf, a frozen choo-choo jelly, which turns into an ice arrow, which instantly kills the construct that it's propelled towards and Akisa's eye, which is the homing arrow that we've seen in that trailer back in February. So this fuse ability isn't just weapons. It could just be everything. We know of, as of right now that it is attached to arrows and weapons, but who knows what this can be for when we get the game. Maybe we can have so many possibilities with this ability that Link has. Because imagine how much you could shift to your arrow and your swords, it's a lot. And not only that, you can attach stuff to your shield to make it more durable. You could add a rock, which will take damage, but will not uh, damage your shield. It will only take damage on the rock, which destroys the rock, but it would still keep your shield at max durability. And also demonstrated in the video, you see that there's a mushroom that smokes out the area allowing Link to do a sneak strike behind the enemy, which is very cool. We also have sneak strike, which was not in Breath of the Wild. So they're adding a lot more to Tears of the Kingdom when it comes to combat. And we haven't even seen all of it yet. So yeah, that's the fuse ability. Definitely one of the better abilities we've seen in today's gameplay. But who knows what else we'll have outside of this gameplay demonstration. 
The next ability is called Ultra Hand, and it's sort of like the Fuse ability, but it creates vehicles rather than stronger weapons. In this demonstration, Eiji Aonuma is taking three logs and combining them together to make a raft to access as a boat. But one thing he does show us is a weird fan that is located on the Sky Island that has the same Zonite symbol we've seen from the other vehicles in the previous trailer. So with this ability, it does seem like we are going to be able to create an unimaginable amount of vehicles in Tears of the Kingdom. In this demonstration, A.G. Aonuma creates a boat to get to the other side of the lake so that he can explore the rest of the island. But he does make another raft, but this time he makes it fly by putting the, the fans face downwards rather than face forwards. So instead of going forward, he is now going up and elevating himself with this new ability called Ultra Hand. So again, the uh, vehicles we saw in the trailer, the, the, the car, the hot air balloon, and the hovercraft are all from the Ultra Hand ability. And who knows what else you can craft because, again, the gameplay is your imagination. You create what you want to create. That's what A.G. Anuma is referring to. You create whatever you want. There's an unimaginable amount of stuff you can do with this new ability. So, the new ability, Ultra Hand, it is probably the best ability because it creates transportation that can be either on water, land, and in the sky. So that is the Ultra Hand ability. Now on to the final ability and probably the coolest ability we've seen today out of the gameplay demonstrated by Eiji Onuma. This ability is called Ascend and as the name says, you can ascend through a ceiling to get to another layer which you wouldn't be able to reach any other way. Say you're in a cave, as demonstrated in the video, and you want to ascend up on top of the mountain. Yeah, you can climb it, but that's boring and what if you don't have enough stamina? Well, that's where the ascend ability comes in hand. If as long as it's, it's possible to go through, you can ascend your way by using the ability to go up to the mountain demonstrated in the video. No matter how tall it is, as long as you're able to get through it and it's it's a ceiling, you are able to ascend through any layer in the game. This is another way of getting from the ground to the sky as long as you have a way of getting up and down. This is the coolest ability and this is the final ability and it is called Ascend. If you guys enjoyed this video, if I helped you out with the abilities and getting to know them a little bit because the demonstration wasn't really understandable, you just wanted to watch the gameplay, you didn't really want to listen, I hope I helped you. If you guys are really excited for Tears of the Kingdom after this gameplay launch, let me know in the comments because wow, what a demonstration by Eiji Onuma. Thank you Eiji Onuma for showing us this game. We got a little bit more out of it. We saw the new abilities. I was hoping to see the new abilities. I was hoping to see the sky. We did. It's really cool. I'm really excited for this game. So if you guys are excited, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please, lend him your power.